So I've done that. That's good. Have you ready? What are you doing? Yeah, just all right. I'm just messaging a couple of guys. A couple of guys. Who are you, who are you messaging? Who should be doing the show? Well, I'm just. Uh, I'm in this WhatsApp group with um, uh, Gavin Williamson and uh, Matt Hancock. I'm just wanting it, hoping what the you, message goes public. What are you saying? I'm just saying. Um, hey, hey, guys. You're a bunch of cunts. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Talking to Our Souls, or to put it another way, to Talking Our Souls. This podcast is for entertainment purposes only and may deal with adult topics and adult themes. Tish, the best thing in the world about a comedian is timing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Talking to Our Souls with me, Steve Hen, and it's the 6th of March, and over there we have... Have? I've got a private message for you, but don't tell the scummy dying bastard public, Mr. Sick. <laughs> if you're listening to this, uh, he's not a pervert. He was a bit worried. I've got a secret for you, little child. Right. No, I did that. That's me. I made the whole thing go dark. Now, listen, let's talk about our friend. (laughs) Matt, the fuck are you doing, Hancock? Let's go with him and then we can roll into your other mate, as it were. Oh, God. Can you When he was on um, Get Me Out of Here. All right, they all treated, they all, they all came to a decision. We got, you know, not necessarily agreeing with one another, but personally saying they don't want to ruin it for other people, yeah, and just not not lay into him. Uh, and I'm thinking, I uh, missed opportunity to fucking do him in, wasn't it? But now, <laughs> yeah, now it's Isabella, his, his mate, Isabella. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> She's uh, she did him, oh. did him good. <laughs> I hate that woman with a vengeance. She's the woman that, that said that, that that Boris's dad was a little bit handsy. Oh, she, she she makes my flesh creep, but she's so attractive. I have to give her a pass. She but, looks young, but she, I think she's almost fifty, ain't she? No, oh, really? Well, then uh, she has two passes, I suppose. Really, a bus pass being one of them. <laughs> But yet, no. Oh, do you know? I mean, he is the gift that keeps on giving. But but every time I see him, he just looks awkward. He walked. They showed a clip of him walking in during the the, the COVID briefings, and uh, he just walked in his own. He didn't know where he was going. <laughs> I'll see if I can play the clip of him uh, on the last leg. Uh, it was hilarious. It wasn't. No, it was from this morning when he was going for an interview on this morning and he's walking towards the camera and then suddenly he has to turn right into the door and he just looks out of it completely he's hilariously it, bad I think it was on that show as well when they did one when he was standing next to a woman he was really creepy he got really close to her oh yes like... yeah, yeah 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 that seems like news footage if I remember he's outside isn't he yeah yeah he's, he's outside like, the building I, yeah, I don't think he has any spatial awareness uh, for one thing <laughs> awareness certainly... full stop <laughs> <laughs> if you're in if you're in Tesco's, God forbid that Hancock is behind you because he'd be right up your aisle. I tell you, he'd be with those people that stand right close to you and you're thinking, Jesus Christ, I'm doing me shopping. He'd be one of those people. But you know that is Isabella, right? She wrote his she wrote his book. <laughs> yeah. Right. And She's Cameron's. the one who wrote Yeah. Oh, it's Dave Cameron's as well. Or should I say James Cameron? Did she write Avatar? Mm. She, she was, he was supposed to come on. Part of the agreement, and I don't think they had a signed agreement, but it was like that agreement that she would do a big scoop interview with him on talk TV, and he never did it. So, ah, and that's why. So a, well, you mean after the jungle, he said that he'd yeah. do a big scoop, and, and he yeah. didn't do it. Yeah. Oh, he's only so got himself saying, to blame anyway. I can't get a big scoop there. I'll get a big scoop here. Yeah? 
double scoop. She is, she's not a fucking ice cream. She is so vicious, that woman. In the middle of COVID, we had a, our first 100,000 deaths, and I apologise. And I think people need to know this, that the vast majority of those who died were actually very elderly and had comorbidities. So it's not as if... Uh, the scale of this is as absolutely horrific as those bear figures make it look. They're all going to die anyway, so it didn't matter that they got COVID. She's 48. I was hoping you'd say she was a cow bag, but no, you gave her a little bit of credit by telling us that she's 48. Av, say something horrible about her first. I reckon they wanted sex together. <laughs> that's, even that's not horrible. <laughs> Okay, uh, she looks like she bathes in the blood of virgins. Whoa! Where did that come from? Uh, she wanted to do something. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Yeah, 48, and uh, she's still going strong. She's near enough age appropriate to, to, to get COVID and die. But, no, she's one. She's one of these people. You know, it's one of these people who will live till she's over a hundred. Like Dorian Gray, she didn't write that either. Do you know? Because she signed an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, when she got the WhatsApp messages off Matt Hancock. He sent her the whole lot, right? And she signed an NDA saying that she wouldn't disclose it. Do you know who gets into trouble? The paper. No. Who? Matt Hancock, because Matt Hancock has provided her with other people's secrets, as it were, not even whatever it was, it's not, but like, it's, it's their personal details. It's, so, it's not personal, Steve. This is why she can get away with it, maybe, is because all that's done on work, works phones, right? And those, and that should be available to the public if they ask for it. Oh, that's cool, because... Uh, it was the solicitor was saying that 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 because he gave her the the, the private information from other people, um, they could sue him rather than her, and and she won't get into much bother because she can use freedom of of the press. You now this thing where the conservatives had uh, WhatsApp messages between uh, their mates about getting PPE stuff, right? Yes. There's one MP who was asked to provide the messages. And between him and the companies that he he supported, and he lost his phone. He's found it now. They found it Where? the other day. It was in a lockup, in a tin box, <laughs> and he said somebody, one of his children, had got it. I'm sure he said something. He dropped it in the. In oh no, the he lied. Somewhere. He did lie, but he did find it again, in a lockup in 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 Peckham, uh, in a tin box. I don't feel sorry for any of them. They all deserve each other, don't they? That's it. If it was the scales like this, and there was like a load of horseshit falling on Matt Hancock and a load of horseshit falling on her, I, I'd be torn with which one I'd save. In fact, I'd probably join them if if it meant both of them would get it. I would actually. I'd probably go on him because you know she's you could say she's a nasty piece of work, but she's for, for wrongly or rightly reasons for the wrong or right reasons she's uh, pulled the rug from under oh, his feet. Oh. So, oh yeah, no. In this situation, I'm, 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 I, I would give her a pass. But I, I, from all the stuff that I, that she's made me, she's made me scream and cry at the telly when she opens her mouth. So, I, I, uh, I, I that's that's where I'm. I'm I, I've got a deep rooted hatred of the woman. I reckon he wanted a piece of her. What do you mean a piece Probably of her? Piece of the action. <laughs> Oh, that's a great song. Yeah, I don't know if you can say that a man wants a piece of a woman. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But I understand what you say. If you say, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if he wanted to have sex with her, or it wouldn't surprise me if he if he wanted to smash her back doors in. Apparently, that's all right to say these days. Is it? No, no, Andy Gray. It is not all right in any situation whatsoever. He could have fancied her. I gave you. I, I think that's what you're saying, is it? He could have fancied her. Uh, he oh, wanted to I take do. up the House of Commons. <laughs> <laughs> that's when she'd sign an NDA. Right. We could. You wanted to show her. a big bed. <laughs> you can't just go in. Because <laughs> I'm talking over you. No, I'm not doing that. 
As much as I'd like to talk about those people. Oh, we got, oh we've got we've got your mate as well. You hate him though, don't you? You hate him. You hate this one. Twice. Frankly, Russia should go away and shut up. He was involved in the in this contretemps as well. Matt Hancock, you bastard. I think you should put your phone down and go away. I would love to see them two in a punch up. Go away. Go away, Matt Hancock. I do think that Gavin Williamson is vicious and a horrible person, but both him and Matt don't look as though they've got the body weight to carry off any sort of fighting. Wow, 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 wow. Ooh. I've actually changed that uh, thing as well. So he doesn't say, I think Russia should go away and shut up. He says this now. Frankly, all teachers should go away and shut up. Couldn't tell. <laughs> Just one Frankly, more. all teachers should go away and shut up. Oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. There he is. But you were telling me earlier that his wife's a teacher. Yeah, she, he, she's a, a primary school teacher. And I think that's where he got the idea that um, teachers don't work very hard because he's probably seen his missus doing sod all and based it on what she does. I, I, I would defend teachers. Uh, and I think all teachers work very, very hard, even the ones that drink a lot. I agree with you, but in this particular instance... Because she's married she to him, decision. she has to take the responsibility. Yeah, yeah she, was, she decided to marry him. I suppose all so, teachers must own up to their mistakes because that's what they preach. Yeah, I don't think he wears the trousers in that relationship, does he? Oh, he, does, he is. He, do you know, I, I do think he suffers from controlling and coercive behaviour. You, you know, like when a husband like just keeps the wife um, cuckold in, in, in the house and she can't go out and... and, and, and uh, I think Gavin Williamson's that sort of person that is is that that man that that that, that comes across as quite nice and floppy, but but he just psychologically screws with everyone. He psychologically screws everyone. Yeah, and I'm talking, I'm talking like every, that's why he was the a chief whip, and that's why he had a tarantula. He knew where all the bodies are. I, he's a that's why he's a sir. There's no reason he's a sir because he <laughs> he's good at oh, anything. Yeah. It's because he's got he's only because he's got dirt on people. That's what it is. He has to be a sneaky slide git. But that, he's, he's a sneaky dirt. slide git. Yeah, come on, just say, be your best mate. Hello, uh, fancy should we get should we go to a uh, point? Yeah, you know where uh, Pretty Patel Boris. She wears underwear with your picture on the arse. Well, we all do. But it's it, but but it's inside out. <laughs> it's Ask Joker for a week. Just in case, as doesn't oh, stop the fact that Boris's <laughs> face is closer to her back passage. <laughs> I didn't even think about that, Steve. I just, oh, <laughs> oh, that woman. With Gavin Williamson, you, you proved the point. The one thing he is very good at, Sav sent me this video earlier, he's a very good dancer. <laughs> It's horrible. People are listening. Won't know. Won't know. But that, where did you find that? It's a it's a, it's a guy dancing in, a, in in his room, and he looks the spit of Gavin Williamson when he's at, at student halls. But he looks, he's obviously wearing clothes too too big for him, and he's dancing because he he's, when he got his job back, he got sacked <laughs> and became a sir. That's his that's his his sir dance. That is. Yeah. Uh, but, but 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 where is it on Instagram? Or yes. Did somebody just yeah. find? Did you just find it, or did someone say it? it looks I just like found Gavin it. Williams. You know, in, you know, when just like you're going, you scrolling through your Instagram and just give random videos. So I've, I've actually, I've done a, a talk, 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 talk to our souls version of it. Frankly, all teachers go away, go away, go away, go away. All teachers, all teachers, all teachers, all teachers, go away, go teachers, go away, go teachers, go away, go teachers, shut up. This looks so funny. Please, I people, that, try and find that video. I think you put it in the link somewhere in the video, maybe. Did you do that? I don't know. But, I can um, put the link of that. It is funny because it, it, the music sings quite after the scene. Yeah, <laughs> what... glad you came across that. Ab. That's very. I, I do believe you spent more hours today fingering your phone, as it were, than than than, well, than before. I was like, last week. I wasn't really up for it, so I thought I need to have something. I need to have a couple of things in my pocket just. 
for this week God. to make up for last week. He made it was me a struggle, wasn't work. it? <laughs> you made me fucking work, I tell you. Good grief. But I got there in the end, though. I felt, I felt, I managed. I got, I got the high points. <laughs> oh, we haven't even talked about our great leader as well. Northern Ireland is in the unbelievably special position, unique position in the entire world, European continent, in having privileged access, not just to the UK home market, which is enormous, fifth biggest in the world, but also the European Union single market. Nobody else has that. No one. And that is the prize, because nowhere else does that exist. That's like the world's most exciting economic zone. That's, that's interesting, because uh, the last time... I heard that phrase used. It was when Boris was talking about privileged access to Kerry. I think she wore the trousers more than 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 Boris wearing his underpants back to front. Well, you know, apparently some uh, an MP walked in on on them, and she was performing the act on him. Well, I think. <laughs> well, pick a card, pick a card. Any card. <laughs> yeah. Seven of Spades, Boris. Seven <laughs> of Spades. So, but basically, you're saying that that she did a Monica Lewinsky on him. And for those of you who don't know who Monica yeah. Lewinsky was, she, she supposedly fellated the President of the United States. And I'm not talking Trump, although that may Apparently have happened. Apparently it, ha- it happened in the Houses of Parliament before they were married. Now, I'm trying to think if I've had sex at work. It was a long time ago. Sometimes I, uh, you can't I help yourself from... is what I'm saying. Sometimes you can't help yourself. You work from home. <laughs> I work from home and I don't get any. <laughs> I think I've got three jokes there. I could have got a joke that we could make made up from last week. <laughs> Ab thinks that. I really do want to... I, I'm surprised that people didn't didn't pick up on the fact that Northern Ireland, the best deal that anyone could ever have, was the same deal we had before we decided to leave... We decided to leave the European Union. The bastard of Northern Irish, they got all the bloody great privilege in the world, haven't they? But so did we have the great privilege. I nearly did the accent then. So have we got the great privilege in the world. We had that privilege. The white privilege. Well, I've always had the white privilege, so you know, <laughs> don't don't speak when I'm speaking. Here comes the brown saviour. I, I do think that, 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 that Rushi has actually gone up in my estimation uh, in the last week. He seems to have made the pig's ear a little bit better. It just depends what the DUP say. And Boris yeah. came out the other day as well and said it's not a good idea. It says a lot about the the way people approach it. Because Boris, he just he just wound up all the Europeans, didn't he? Rubbed them up the wrong way. So yeah, they're thinking, yeah, 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 yeah. we ain't going to do you no favours. Yeah, here comes a polite speaking little Indian man. Right? Yeah. Full of coke, Got his manners. Full of coke. Knows his P's and Q's. Right? Yeah. He probably got the best deal that anyone could have got. He was just coming and thought, look, accept it. Or oh, these are the consequences. He's, he's playing a smart game with them. He's playing chicken chicken curry. Yeah. Irish curry. What the fuck yeah. was an Irish curry? You not heard that? No. I went to a chip shop and they did Irish curry sauce, Steve. And what was the difference? 67p. <laughs> I just got the, the recipe. I don't know if it's correct. Oh, for Irish is. chips? Irish chip curry sauce? Yeah. yeah. One large onion, one large apple, garlic, ginger, curry powder, turmeric, cumin, coriander, cinnamon, vegetable oil, flour, chicken stock, Worcestershire sauce, sugar, puree, pepper, and golden raisins. But I'd so have put ghee cheese. instead of vegetable oil. No, but that makes it Indian, doesn't it? What makes it probably Irish is... Uh... <laughs> they put some zebras in it. <laughs> I'm a horrible <laughs> 70s comedian. <laughs> Should I do an Irish joke and see if I can get away with it? Go on then. What did the Irishman call his zebra? I don't know. Spot. <laughs> Wokey cokey! Just a minute. We should get our own back. I'll write to Rishi and say, Have you heard this Irish curry sauce? I think we just take something of theirs and call it Indian. Little Indian. That's, no, that's Rishi. Um, <laughs> Little Indian, I should have said. What about uh, Irish Guinness? Make it into Indian. Indian oh. Guinness. And what's the difference? It's brown. It's brown oh. with a blackhead. That sounds bad. <laughs> that sounds bad. <laughs> as, a, as an adolescent <laughs> teenager, that sounds bad. Well, I, you know, what, what's this blackhead doing in my beer? It fell off your face. 
I suppose it's a brown with black hair, isn't it? Call it Indian Guinness. But, right, I don't think we can... I, I want to talk about it, but I don't think it matters and I don't think it'll make the edit here. I went to a restaurant in in, uh, in Stratford and, and they gave me a Cobra Pale Ale. It was a Pale Ale Cobra. Man, that was great. You don't know, though, because you don't drink, do you? But Cobra's a good Indian beer, not as good as Kingfisher. I prefer Kingfisher. If Cobra tried to do a Guinness, I'm in. I'm having it. I'm having it, Av. The reason it's called Pale Ale is because it's for the white person. Uh, I didn't realise they made it for the whiteies. Cobra don't make it. It's a restaurant. They just pour water and piss in it. <laughs> You're playing to everyone's stereotype yeah. that everyone spits and pisses yeah. in their food when they give them a hard time. Yeah. When they kick <laughs> their fingers and say something racist, the in, cock in the, comes the out back. and then pisses in their beer. In the back, you've got the waiter. Erinjit! Erinjit! The white bastards are in the pile, eh? Oh, give me a second, give me a second. Hold on. Oh, I got a click on it. Well, on that happy note, I feel it's time for us to leave you on this, the 6th day of March. And uh, we'll come back next week when the nights are getting lighter. And so are your pockets. So, thank you very much. Av, do you want to say anything funny before we leave? So, join us again next week when we talk exclusively from our souls. Hey, thanks for listening to the show. We hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and share this because it will help us. And don't forget to tune in next week, 8pm Monday. Ta-ra! Oh, so...